Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Sahanya. I hope you are able to hear me. Yeah, yeah, now I can hear you. Oh, okay. So, last class, uh, I said, sir, last class. Your no. voice is kind of breaking. Wait, no. It is breaking down the end, no? Okay. Like it's still kind of breaking. So in the last class, one minute. Hello? Hello? Is it clear or do you? Yeah, no, it's kind of clear. Hello? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh. Hi, yes, I can. You went Sanya, I think now you can hear me. Yes, ma'am. Ah, done. So we will begin with the class. Uh, so in the last class, uh, sir taught you about the measurement of time. So yeah. in the measurement of time, can you tell me which all clock you have discussed? Uh, yeah. So first one was the sundial, then the second one was the water clock, and the third one was uh, sand clock, that is also called as yard glass, and then was pendulum, then quartz. Okay. Uh, so, Prasanna sir was saying your exams were there. Yeah. It got over or still it is going on? Yeah, it's still going on because science yesterday it got cancelled because of some issue. So, ah. science exam is on Saturday. Okay, it is on Saturday. Okay, then you have enough time to practice now. Yeah. Huh. So, here in physics, actually I am taking physics part. So, physics part you have motion and time and heat and temperature, right? Yeah. Okay, so we will try to complete how much it is possible. We will see. So in the last class, you discussed about the units of time also. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the measurements? So can you tell me the conversions like a millisecond to second? Yeah, so the first one was uh, this open the yeah, so 
the first one was milliseconds. So one millisecond is equal to one by thousand seconds. Then so one by thousand second in the power, how we can write it? Uh one to the power of uh, it is ten to the power of. Oh yeah, correct. Ten ah. to the power of three. Yes, it is 10 to the power of 3. Okay. So here you just remember, for example, if you have 1000, the 1000 can be written as 10 to the power of here. How many zeros will be there? That power will come here. Okay. So for example, here, if I'm writing like uh, like this, the number here, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros are there. So it will be 10 to the power of 8. Okay. So you just remember here, this is the expressing the numbers in the powers that is called as order of magnitude. It is called as order of magnitude means any given number you are expressing into 10 to the power of something that is called as order of magnitude. It is. Okay, this is order of magnitude. Okay, then after that, like that you discussed about the, that is centisecond and the second uh, and the minute, like that you discussed about yeah. the uh, remaining wall. So we will go for the next one, that is speed. So today we will begin with a new, new point, that is speed. Okay. 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 So here. Uh, that is first we are going to define speed. For example, in your school, you might be observing the sports day. So during the sports day here, you can see that there are uh, five or six or ten members are running in that race. So the race is what? That is uh, 100 meter race is there. So ten members are participating in the 100 meter of race or the 400 meter of race. So here what happens here? Out of ten members, only one or two, they are taking total three winners so three winners when we want to announce that time here for example 100 meter it is there here what happens whatever the finishing line will be there any one person or two persons simultaneously they can reach the final point first correct huh? so here what happens the first who will reach he will be uh, considered as the winner the second one will be the second then like this we can give the numbers for all the 10 members here so here what is the difference between these two? See, they all are beginning from the same point. All are beginning from the same point. Mm -hmm. And all are reaching the same point here. All are reaching the same, same point. I, okay. So, now here, whatever the distance they are covering, that is also the same. Correct? So, all are traveling the 100 meter distance itself. But what yeah. is the difference here? The difference is the time interval. So some person may take, that is uh, the first person, maybe he is taking 8 seconds. The second person is taking the 10 seconds. The third person is maybe he is taking 13 seconds. Only there is a difference in the time interval. So why there is a difference in the time interval? Because all the 10 members are moving with some different speed, some different speed here. So here the question comes, what do you mean by speed now? So here for the given race, all are covering the same distance, but the different time interval is there. Why there is a difference in the time interval? Because the speed what they are capturing, that is different here. Therefore, here the question comes, what do you mean by speed? So, speed is defined as, the speed is defined as, it is the total distance. How much distance you are covering in the given interval of time, in the given interval of time. That is called as speed. That is called as speed here. So, for example, for the given example, the distance covered is 100 meters. Suppose the first person is taking 8 seconds. Then here you can calculate whatever answer you are getting. That will be the speed of a particular person. Mm -hmm. So, same you can think for the uh, car race also. So, car mm -hmm. race, you can take different, different examples for that. So, speed concept is clear to you? Yeah. Okay. And here we are discussing the unit of the speed. So in physics, whatever the quantities are there, you need to specify the unit. For example, if you are visiting a shop, when you are saying that 1 kg of wheat flour, then 5 kg of rice, 2 kg of sugar. So here, whatever kg you are specifying, it means that you are measuring about the mass. Suppose if you are saying the same number, that is 1 meter, 5 meter, 
two meters. So what you are describing here? Uh, we are describing the speed or it is only meter. So it is only meter yeah. in the sense you may be measuring the length, length or it may be height also or it may be breadth also. It may be radius also, it may be diameter also, distance also, displacement yeah. also. So uh, for the like, over here in meters there are like two kind of things for uh, Hi, yes, meter can be measured for length, height, breadth, radius, diameter. We can use it for many quantities okay. here, okay? Okay. Ha, so, when you are describing the unit, it also describing which quantity you are measuring. So, kg, if you are saying, it means that you are measuring about the mass. When you are specifying meter, you are measuring maybe a length here. So, when you say meter square, can you tell me which is the unit of this meter square? Me what is the quantity? Uh, I think speed, not speed, right? In terms of mass, ma mass, you think? Mass. Maths, maths, in terms of maths. Maths, okay. Like, so uh, two meters. Ha, so, it is nothing but you can take it as length meters into length. Into meters, yeah. Ha, length that is length into, into breadth. So, length into breadth, uh, which quantity it is describing? Um, uh, this one, uh, triangle. Tri triangle means this, no? What is this? Oh, square, square, square. Yeah. Yes, so it may be a square or it may be a rectangle also. Yeah. Right. So meter square, in short, what I want to tell you is the meter square will be the unit of the area here. So okay. the conclusion is what? What unit you are using using here, that unit is describing the physical quantity. So therefore, I want the measurement of the speed. So speed can be written as what the formula is distance divided by time. So this is equal to distance is measured in terms of. So just now I told you. So length then breadth, then height, then radius, diameter, distance, displacement, all are having the same unit, that is meter. Can you tell me what is the unit of time? Uh, uh, so, like, uh, is it, like, about how much, like, is it about this? No, I am asking you about the unit. So, one so just... Time or speed? Uh, no, it is second, second, just one minute. Huh? So here we are describing the unit of a given physical quantity. So the physical quantity is speed. So speed is equal to unit is that is distance divided by time. Distance is expressed in terms of meter. Time is measured in terms of second. So therefore, uh, here the unit will be that is meter. So when you take yes, here the power will be one. So when I take it to the numerator, the power will be two. Minus one, no. you know, no about this type of concepts. Oh, you're talking about okay. Understanding? Yeah, now I'm now I'm clear. Ah, ha, ha, okay, okay. So we are describing the unit. So for a speed, what is the unit for the measurement? So what I told you that is when you have some unit, you can understand which quantity you are measuring. Okay. okay. So for example, kg you are saying it means that mass you are measuring. If you are saying meter, you are measuring the length, meter square area, meter cube volume. So like that, to describe the speed, we require some unit here. So to you, suppose, for example, just now I gave you an example of a car race yes. or you can consider yes. the, okay. So that time here, all are covering 100 meter distance. The time interval, we can take it as in terms of seconds. So when I take the ratio of these two, it is giving you the speed. Okay. So, therefore, the unit of speed is given as what? Meter per second. Second. 
okay so this is what for calculation purpose we use meter per second but in our day to day life the unit what we are using that is called as kilometer per hour yes it is kilometer per hour why because whatever the for example if you see bike car or any of the vehicles here so there whatever the measuring device is there for the speed it is is called as speedometer you know about this yeah yeah speedometer like so, speedometer ha huh. it is a device in motorcycles which or any vehicle which displays hmm. yeah the speed, speed okay. of the so here in exam how they will ask you question you know that a speedometer is a device it's, it is used for the measurement of dash so i'll give you the options so they will give you option like uh, it is used to measure the speed second option is uniform speed your third option will be that is instantaneous speed okay then uh, fourth option will be that is fourth option is non uniform speed which option you will choose i think uh, uniform speed uh, no it is instantaneous speed why i'll tell you because whatever the device you are using that is the speedometer here at that interval of time means so like, for what do you mean by instantaneous that i'll tell you so that only i am describing now so instantaneous speed means here uh, for the given interval of time means for example uh, from here a point to the b point the body is covering 200 meter distance so this a to b distance is 200 meter i'll make some intervals here four intervals i'll make a to b so this is my b point last so this first whatever the interval i am showing this is 50 meter the second interval is also 50 meter third interval is also 50 meter fourth interval is also 50 meter so is it 200 total yeah i think so okay ha huh. so 50 plus 50 100 then yeah, again it is plus yeah correct ah uh, 200 okay so here first interval whatever you are seeing the first interval here the time taken for the body is or the vehicle is that is for 50 meter it is taking 20 minutes next 50 meter whatever you are seeing here it is taking 15 minutes then the next 50 meter suppose it is taking 18 minutes and the next 50 meter it is taking the 20 minutes here here Uh, at twenty minute, what is the distance covered by the body here? At twenty minute, yeah. Actually, what is the distance covered? Um, it's fifteen, eighteen, twenty. Only at twenty minutes, what is the distance no, covered? No, like by uh, wait over here. I didn't understand one thing. Ha. Huh. Uh, here like twenty minutes, right? Uh, one second i'll give you different example we will take different time intervals only yeah. so this is my a point this is my b point so i'll divide it into four equal uh, equal parts that is 50 50 50 so the time interval we will little change it this is 50 this is also 50 meter 50 meter 50 meter so first we will name here that is this i'll make it as a uh, first point i'll write it as a to o then it is c point then it is d point A to O, it is taking that is twenty minutes. Then the next at fifty meter, it is taking eighteen minutes. Next, suppose it is taking fifteen minutes, and the last one it is taking twenty two minutes. Okay, so here the question is what? What is the distance covered by the body at twenty minute? Okay. Now you tell me what is the distance covered by the body at twenty minute? Ah, uh, it is. Uh... Uh, twenty minutes. Time I am telling you twenty minutes. What is the distance ten, covered? Ten minutes. No, here we have divided each one as fifty meters. No, fifty meter, fifty meter, fifty meter, fifty meter. Mm. So first fifty meter, it is taking twenty minutes. Yeah. Next fifty meter, it is taking eighteen mm. minutes. Next fifty meter, it is taking fifteen minutes. Next fifty meter, it is taking twenty minutes. Twenty two minutes. Yeah. You are getting. The twenty two. So question is what for the twenty minute? What is the distance traveled by the body? Two hundred meters. That is total. It is. I am not asking you total. Only for the twenty minute, what is the distance covered? Eighteen minutes. Mm -hmm. 
whatever red color here i am showing no this is the distance covered 50 meter understanding yeah now okay okay so what is the question at 50 uh, that is at 20 minutes what is the distance covered by the body so if you see that figure the distance covered by the body at 20 minute it is 50 meter so at 22 minute actually i gave you very simple example i have divided everything equally 50 meters so at 22 minute also what was the distance covered by the body 50 meter only if yeah. you see at 18 minute there also we It's have taken the 50 meters, meter yeah. so here i have taken very simple example now i change the example this you clear me so that i can understand whether you understood or no so now i am taking this is a and this is b so here i'll make one two three parts and here first one is uh, first i'll take it as 25 meter second i'll take it as 20 meter third i'll take it as 10 meter and the time interval i'll take it as so the time interval for the first 25 minute meter it is uh, 5 minutes then the second 20 meter i'll take it as 4 minutes then third one i'll take it as 2 minutes okay. okay so now the example the question is for 5 minutes what is the distance covered by the body so 5 minutes 25 meters 25 meter okay now you tell me for the 2 minute meter what is the distance covered by the body minutes. and what is for 4 minute and it's 20 meters 20 meter okay so the for the same example the different question i am asking you what is the total distance traveled by the body total distance so whatever so above what i have written it is distance So below like have, 50 meters uh 25 plus 20 55 meters ha uh, okay so it is the total distance will be it is 25 plus 20 plus 10 so total it will be 55 minutes meters okay so it is 55 meter this is the total distance traveled by the body what about the time can you tell me what is the total time uh it's uh 11 Five plus four nine eleven. Yes, it is eleven minutes. Yes. So here actually two concept I am telling you simultaneously. So first, what I am telling you about the instantaneous speed. So instantaneous speed, what it is that is for the given interval of time. So for example, five minute is the given interval of time. At that time, what is the distance covered by the body? That is the twenty five meter. Twenty five meter. Ha. So at the given instant of time means for the four meter. Four minute. What is the distance covered by the body? Twenty meter. So speedometer. What it is telling you for the given interval of time? What is the distance covered by the body? That it is called as what? Instantaneous speed. Instantaneous. Me antandre. Our time only in given interval of time. Yeah. So in the given interval of time, what is the distance traveled by the body? That is called as instantaneous speed. Getting what is instantaneous speed? Yeah. Ha huh. is it clear now what is instantaneous speed and the speedometer yeah yeah okay so here for whatever we discussed just i'll revise you once so first we discussed about the speed so speed is equal to it is the distance traveled by the body divided by time so you can define it like the rate of change or simple language we will use because you are in seventh still so we will take the simple definition like uh, the ratio of so ratio means i hope you will understand that is yeah, upon yeah. ha so that is ratio of distance to the time to the time interval it is called as what speed of the body it is called as speed of the body okay. second point what we have discussed that is the unit so here the unit is what meter per second this is the si unit anta heltare this is called as the si unit here the other unit for this uh, the speed is kilometer per hour okay. then the next point what we discussed is that is the device which is used to measure the speed it is called as speedometer 
So what is speedometer? Speedometer is a device used to measure the speed. So fourth point is this speedometer will measure instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed. So what is instantaneous speed? Our next point is at the given interval of time, at the given interval of time, the distance covered by the body. The distance covered by the body is called as instantaneous speed. Then the next point, so it will measure the instantaneous speed, kilometer per hour. Okay, the next point I'll tell you later. So this much points you just note down. The yes. next point we will do. This one. Yeah, that. Completed? Yeah. Ah, okay, so we will go for the next point. That is uh, how we are going to convert the units. The, so, kilometer per hour to meter per second. What is the relation that we will see? So the next point what we are discussing is that is uh, so for the uh, just now what we have discussed now about the total distance and total time taken. So here the total distance traveled by the body divided by total time. So this total distance divided by total time this is called as average speed. This is called as average is speed. So, that's, huh. so what I told you I told you about the two points. One is instantaneous speed, means kottiro interval of time only. What is the distance traveled by the body? That is instantaneous speed. The average speed is what? That is the total distance traveled divided by the total time taken. It is called as the average speed. Is clear? Yes, Anya, can I go for the next point? Yeah. Ah. So, next what we are discussing is uniform speed and the non-uniform speed. After that, I will go for the conversion of uh, kilometer per hour to meter per second. So, the next point yeah. is... Yeah, uh, is it like, why is 
kilometer always used when the SI unit of speed is meter. Ha, huh, that only. That uh, units we will discuss next. Just this uh, different uh, types of speed we will complete. Then we will go for the units. So average speed is clear to you. Yeah. Then the next one is uniform speed. So uniform speed means what? Uniform speed is defined as. So speed is nothing but what? So yaw de speed idru, the definition is same. That is the distance traveled divided by the total time taken. So whichever speed you consider, instantaneous speed, uh, average speed, uniform speed, non-uniform speed, everywhere it is what? Distance divided by time. But the difference is what? Here, in case of instantaneous speed, what we say at the given instant of time, the distance covered by the body. For average speed, what we say, the total distance traveled by divided by the total time. Getting the difference in both of them? Yeah. Ah, everywhere, same formula, distance upon time. But when you are defining it, the slight difference is there. Instantaneous speed for the given interval of time, the given distance. The average speed is the total distance divided by the total time. Okay. Then the uniform speed is, here we use the term called as equal. So we use the term called as equal. equal ha, so equal distance traveled by the body in the equal interval of time. I gave you that first example, no? That is 50, yeah. 50, 50. Here the time interval for all it is same. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. The fourth is also 15 minutes. So this is what the uniform speed. Is that correct? Okay. okay. Ah, then non-uniform speed is what? So non-uniform speed is actually here in different books, we see the different definitions. So in your book also, actually they have given the same, both the definition they are giving. So in some books, what they say, the non-uniform speed is equal to it is the unequal distance divided by time unequal distance divided by the time taken it is called as non-uniform speed or the other definition what they are saying is that is equal distance but time interval is unequal unequal Time interval, one equal time interval. So this is Same called way. as non-uniform speed. Okay, we'll give the first one. What is it? Non-uniform speed is unequal distance traveled in the given interval of time. Means, for example, if you consider, so between a two points here, the uh, interval we are making three unequal distances. Means here the first uh, distance is twenty meter, second is fifteen meter. Third is 10 meter and here the first time interval, it is maybe 5 minutes. Second is also the 5 minutes. Third is also the 5 minutes. So this so is the example. Will it be like unequal distance and unequal time? Uh -huh. Unequal distance means this one. See, uh, first one is 20 meter. Second one means the yeah. given total yeah. huh? getting that is uh, whatever interval you are making that is different. But time is same, 5, 5, 5. But what did we like unequal distance and une by unequal time? Okay, you are not understanding what is unequal distance. No, 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 no. Huh? It's huh. like unequal distance, like won't, won't the non-uniform speed be hmm. like unequal distance by unequal time? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, okay. So like... Uh... At the first example you gave, right, 50-50, what if mm -hmm. it was like 15, tw uh, 15 meters, 20 meters, and 60 meters by uh, 12 meters, 40 meters, and 60 meters? Time interval, correct? Yeah, yeah. Ah, that only, same only it is. So here, uh, any, here actually this uh, non-uniform speed, whatever it is there for that proper definition, because in many books, many different sets of uh, examples they are giving. So we can consider here, uh, in your book also what they are saying, the object covers unequal distances. So unequal distances means, for example, here from your home 
to school suppose if it is 15 kilometer so this 15 kilometers we can divide it like 3 means i am just making the interval here so this is 3 this is 4 then the remaining is that is 8 so this is unequal distance so for it this unequal distances the equal time interval i am taking means for the first 3 meet for 3 km no, you no, are no, taking sir you have taken like unequal distance but equal time right ha huh. hmm. what if it was like unequal distance by unequal time ha ha okay okay i understood your question then also it is non uniform only okay ha huh. then also it is non uniform only so uniform means what equal interval of time equal distance but non uniform here the distance will be unequal the time will be same first point yeah, yeah. second point is what the distance may be equal the time will be different third is what both are unequal that is the distance is also unequal yeah. the time interval yeah, is also yeah. unequal everything it is coming under non uniform motion and non uniform speed itself okay? okay so now it is clear so we have total four types of speed so the four types of speed that is the first one we can actually first one is the uniform speed which we define now so that is first one is uniform speed the second one is non uniform speed the third one is uh, that is in no that is uh, no instantaneous sorry. it is instantaneous and the fourth one is it is average so actually this is the sequence we define Yeah. So all the four is it clear to you? Yeah. Okay. So instantaneous speed, average speed, this is clear. Non-uniform speed, you can consider the vehicles moving in a traffic. So especially, I think you are staying in Bangalore, means you know more about the traffic, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah. so as you know that, uh, so for example, if the traffic, whatever it is, there, if it is more that time, so if from your home to school. some days if the traffic is less for example saturday morning if you are traveling that time the traffic will be less so that time whatever time interval you are taking that will be less compared to the other week especially monday i guess it will be more rush or it will be more traffic that time so whatever it is there that is coming under the non uniform speed or the non uniform motion we can say so uniform motion it is also called as the constant speed we can also say that the uniform speed it is nothing but the uniform motion of the body because everything is equal here and in this case it is also called as constant, constant speed yes but practically giving example for constant speed it this is quite difficult here because none of the objects are moving with constant speed here but uh, we can consider some natural phenomena for example if you observe the earth is revolving around the sun yeah ha ah, sun sun is being okay at the same time the earth is also revolving around itself here this time interval is equal so this is 24 hours and the 365 days whatever it is there it is equal here the time interval is not changing so this we can almost consider the example for the constant speed okay so this is the nearby example we can say so in the day to day life the giving example for constant speed uh, much examples are not there but this natural phenomena we can consider as a example for that now coming to the si units and the unit what we were discussing yeah. so here we have the unit meter per second also we have the unit kilometer per hour also so which is more suitable what it is what is the difference let us see actually if you see that speedometer the speedometer is measuring the uh, speed in terms of kilometer per hour okay. not only the speedometer all the devices or whatever wherever you are measuring the speed practically so practically the kilometer per hour is the suitable unit just it is a suitable unit for the practical purpose but whenever the, in physics we are doing the laboratory experiments and all we go for the meter per second so this meter per second is called as the si unit it is actually a si unit system international or international system of unit the long form of this si system okay. okay but what about this kilometer per hour actually this kilometer per hour it is the uh, 
uh, it is uh, not uh, like most of the times they only use if the size limit of speed and time is meters and uh, second they use kilometers and up yes yes uh, so why the reason is why here because uh, they are you in the speedometer it is measured in terms of kilometer per hour so for that reason kilometer per hour practically we are using but for all the numericals and all maximum times in the textbook purpose meter per second is specified here okay okay ha huh. so now i think so you require how you can convert from meter per second to the kilometer per hour or vice versa so here you see i think you know about some conversion that is 1 kilometer is equal to so before that you tell me what is 1 kg is equal to how many grams One kg is equal to uh, thousand grams. Thousand. thousand grams. Okay. So similarly, one kilometer is equal to how many meters? Ah, uh, one kilometer is equal to thousand meters. So it is thousand meters. Same way, you tell me one centi one centimeter is equal to how many meters? Ah. Uh, Or sorry, one meter is equal. The same. No, one meter is equal to hundred centimeter. What it is? I I only forgot. Sorry. Uh, Meter. Is one meter is equal to hundred centimeter? Yes, this is right. Ah, yeah. uh, this is correct. Because compared to centimeter and meter, meter is bigger one. Compared to meter and kilometer, kilometer is bigger one. Yes, this is right. One meter is equal to hundred centimeter. Okay. Yes. So now here, what we are measuring that is kilometer per hour. Our point is kilometer per hour to meter per second. So kilometer. Two meters. So first, here actually two parts are there. One is kilometer to meter, and the second part is hour to seconds. So here kilometer to meter. So kilometer to meter. Here one kilometer is equal to just now we discussed it is thousand meter. Yes. Similarly, one hour is equal to. Can you tell me how many seconds? Actually, one hour is consisting. Ha! Yes. Huh, it is actually consisting of sixty minutes. Correct. So again, in sixty minute, how many seconds will be there? Um, one. one so one minute is equal to how many seconds? Do you know? Ah, uh, yeah, sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. So now I have sixty minutes. So I have sixty minute. So in one minute, sixty seconds are there. So in sixty minute, correct? Sixty minutes. Sixteen to sixty. Um, I'll so repeat it. Is it one thousand two hundred seconds? No, six six that thirty six that is three thousand six hundred. Oh. So this is clear, no? That is one minute is equal to sixty seconds. I have in one hour sixty minutes means. So for the sixty minute, it will be sixty into sixty. Correct. So sixty yeah. into six 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 is that thirty six. So here zero zero. So three thousand six hundred second. So the conclusion is what in one hour the total seconds will be. It is ah uh, three thousand six hundred seconds. So it is three thousand six hundred seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I hope you remember this. I'll write the final point. What we require that is one kilometer per hour is equal to it is one thousand meters. So per hour is there, therefore here it can be written as divided by h, correct? Yeah, yeah. Ha. So therefore divided by it will be three thousand six hundred seconds. Yes. So these two zeros will go. These two zeros will go. So this is ah uh, two five za ten. Then it is two one za two. One is remaining two eight za sixteen. So five by eighteen. Further we cannot simplify. It will be fraction only. So it is five by eighteen. Unit is what? It is meter per, per second. second. So here, what I have one kil. Correct. So therefore, the conclusion is what? One kilometer per hour is equal to five divided by eighteen meter per second. Second. Is it clear? Yeah. Yes. Suppose if you have in terms of meter per second, then in terms of kilometer per hour, it will be reciprocal. That is eighteen divided by five. Kilometer per hour. Okay. Then is it clear? Yeah. Sure. No, I'll ask you one question based on this. Okay. So in your book also, solve problem is there. 
an athlete covers a distance of 100 meter in 20 seconds so you have to calculate in kilometer per hour so actually they have done that is 100 into 3600 upon 20 into 1000 so instead of all that one thing you remember whenever such type of questions are there hope so for 7th standard this is allowed to write because i don't know 7th standard papers how they will correct it because 9th to 12th i have handled but 7th standard actually first time i am teaching so i don't know how the paper corrections will be done so you just see for example if any question is given in terms of uh, uh, like uh, they are asking you to write in terms of kilometer per hour so the value what they are giving is here the 100 meter distance traveled by the body in 20 seconds convert it into kilometer per hour okay so how you are going to do here the total distance traveled by the body is what it is 100 meter divided by total time in how much it is it is 20 so this is distance this is the time here when i multiply okay first i'll calculate this this will be 0 0 will go 2 ones are 2 5s are so it will be 5 divided by sorry only 5 will be 5 okay So, so it is, is five meters per second. So, so here what you are getting it is five meter per second. But what question they are asking you? They are asking you to express in terms of kilometer per hour. Yeah. So when you have to express it in terms of kilometer per hour, what you need to do? You need to multiply it to divided by eighteen uh, divided by five. So five five will get cancelled. The final answer will be eighteen kilometer per hour. Okay. if you have confusion one more point i'll do so that your confusion will be will go no, so no. this clear no yeah it is ha huh. so for example suppose they are asking you the same question like this you have the distance uh, here meter it is given i'll give you kilometer here and the time is given 20 second here i'll give you 20 hours this you need to convert in meter per second so first what i'll do it is total distance upon total time so 2 2 will go the again the answer will be 5 so this is 5 kilometer per hour here i want to convert this kilometer per hour to meter per second means i'll multiply 5 by 18 so this 5 5 za 25 so 25 by 18 and the answer will be in meter per second so conclusion is what when you are converting here little confusion you may feel because still you are small here when it is kilometer per uh, sorry kilometer per hour to meter per second just multiply your answer by 5 by 18 okay fine when you want to convert from meter per second to kilometer per hour you convert you multiply the answer by 18 by 5 oh okay it will be confusing for you better you remember any one whichever is convenient for you usually for 9th to 12th standard we teach only the one factor that is 5 by 18 factor the other one it is just a reciprocal of that that you can write it by yourself okay is it clear uh, sahanya yeah yeah yes. so regarding the speed any doubt is there for you so we discussed about speed types of speed and we discussed about the unit of speed and this conversion yeah okay so just i'll ask you one question you just uh, simplify and tell me what is the answer now uh, here the question is question you can take it like uh, the total distance The total distance covered, distance covered by the body is twenty-two kilometers in twenty-two kilometers. So twenty-two kilometers we can approximately consider it like just rough example I am giving. So in two hours, twenty-two kilometers. Ah, uh, calculate speed. And calculate speed in meter per second. Calculate speed in meter per second. Okay, uh, so you need to calculate the speed. Convert the answer in meter per second. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'll give you one minute. So in one minute, you just solve it. Okay. 
Iya, iya. So one way is like kind of confused. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Uh, it is uh... so what you need to do that is the distance traveled is uh, so you are calculating yeah. speed so speed is equal to distance is 22 kilometer upon the time taken is two. yeah i did that it will be 11 yeah so 11 is what it is in terms of kilometer yeah. per hour yeah. huh. so i am asking you to tell the answer in terms of meter per second yeah, so what is that? after that like i got a bit confusion ha huh. so what is the conversion factor from meter kilometer per hour to meter per second the conversion factor is 5 by 18. 5 by 18. Yeah. Five by 18. So whatever answer you will get, just you express in terms of meter per second. 5 by 18, yeah. Then uh, I uh, got confused here. Like, are you supposed to divide 5 by 18 then into 11 into that? Mm. No, no. Uh, if you do like this, it will be easy. Okay. So otherwise you can write whatever the fraction answer you are getting. That is eleven five divided by eighteen. Oh okay fine. And that is also fine. Yeah, okay. So whatever concepts are there, that I can make you clear. But how the paper correction will be done, I told you already. I don't know how they will do in your school. Yeah. So little you see, because uh, shortcuts so for school level it is not allowed. It is not actually a shortcut. It is a conversion factor. You can use it, no problem. But see, how your teacher is there, it depends on that. So is it 55 by 18? 55 by 18, you can write, no problem. Because I couldn't convert it. It's okay, no problem. You can just randomly, I have given, they have not, they will not give you this much uh, big uh, calculations. Just for your understanding, whether you understood or no, that I was checking. Okay. Huh? So you just remember, you just had this one point that is kilometer per hour conversion to meter per second. You need to multiply by 5 by 18. Okay. Yes. So that one point you remember, uh, if you want, you can note down that. If you want to convert the conversion from kilometer per hour to meter per second is 5 by 18. Multiply the answer by 5 by 18. Fine. So if you want to reverse, that is conversion of from meter per that second to ha, kilometer per hour multiply by 18 by 5. So don't get confused. Huh? This is uh, too much confusing. Yeah. Ha, so you, any one you remember, the other one you can reciprocal there only. So any one you just remember. So kilo either which is easy for you that you remember. Okay. Okay. Any other doubt is there from the speed point? No, no, no. Not it is, huh, it is clear, no? Yeah, it is. Ha. Okay. We will see before Saturday if anyone class is possible. I'll take and I'll try to complete this lesson. Yeah, sure. Uh, tomorrow after
seven thirty like that you are free. Seven thirty. I have a class actually. Uh, from school, what time you will come back? At school, I'll come back at three thirty. Three thirty only will come. Then after that, you will be free. Yeah, I only till six I'll be free. After six, I have classes. Ha ha. Okay, okay. So. After three thirty, you know, we will see. Either tomorrow or on Thursday, I'll take one class for you so that I can complete this lesson for your exam. Okay. Okay. Ah, I'll message you in the group whatever it is there. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes. Sanya. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Sir.